Hey, what up guys? This is Monkey Figure Reviews and today we're gonna look at one of the newly released figures recently. It is the Gwentista Monkey D. Luffy. So, uh, just a little bit of, you know, trivia kind of thing. Uh, Gwentista has been doing figures for, I think, um, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z and um, also Naruto. Yeah, so for uh, Luffy itself, it is basically the first figure uh, doing the One Piece series and there will be another one of Trafalgar Law coming out near the end of the year if I remember correctly Okay, so um, Kind of excited because the scale is kind of huge and we're gonna do an unboxing together But let's take a look at the box first. Um, it is bleh, We got damage Over shipping Pretty badly. I'm hoping that the figure inside is still okay. So, oh, maybe you, re you have realized there are actually two faces. That's the smiley one, which I honestly prefer. And that's that, that normal face, the smirk. It looks a little bit weird, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, so this is all sides of the box. Okay, this is Brempesto, blah 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 blah. And on top, we have this golden toy sticker. Sticker that comes from, um, it shows that it's a Japanese version. Alright, it's new, everything. So, let's go. So, um, the figure itself comes in four pieces. We have this uh, stand, supporting stand, base kind of thingy, uh, a secondary face, the head itself, and of course the whole body comes in one piece. But I was, I was taking out just now, I actually pull it apart. Uh, it's, it's actually kind of easily separable. Yeah. But uh, when it, in the package, it actually comes in one whole piece. Yeah, and I I'm not I'm not sure why, but maybe it's because it's trying to protect the figure, or maybe there's more risk of paint uh, scratches if it comes in more pieces. But I really like what they did in the in the box itself just now. I'm not sure if you could see, but uh, right inside they had they had like a like a, that that wrapping for to put the feet in. And of course the head itself too. So really, really appreciate it from Gentista, uh, from Brampresto. Um, so even if the exterior of the box get got damaged, uh, most likely the figure itself inside is still perfectly fine. So I really appreciate that they did that. I think it's a nice touch. And holds the figure firmly in place too. Alright, uh, let's just take a look at the head first since we're here. <clears throat> Um, my first impressions, it's basically, uh, uh, it's just, it doesn't really look like Luffy, not, can't really pinpoint the reason why, but I think his facial expression is a little bit off. We don't see Luffy making this kind of expressions, and his head is a little bit too white for me. Uh, they got a scar, a little, a little smoke is a bit weird. His eyes looks like he's just staring off in the distance. No, no soul in it. <laughs> but let me let me know what you guys think. I'll be in, I'll be interested to hear what you guys think. Uh, the hair itself is pretty normal. The ears itself. Yeah, from here it looks flat. Yeah, but I just not a big fan of this. This what do you call this? This little eye thing at the top, the eyeball. I think it's a little bit too. Too big, <laughs> like it should be. It should be thinner. Yeah. All right. Uh, for the head itself, I think it's really nice. They even included the details of the damage uh, done to the straw head by Buggy. And no complaints about that here. Okay. Of course, these 
the smiling face, which I much much prefer the teeth and everything. It looks really really cute. Um, much more in character for Luffy. Maybe we will see how it looks like later. Okay. Uh, I think for now, what I want to do is just piece this thing together to get a look of how it looks like. Alright, pushing it in. It's a little bit tight, but should be fine. Remove the box, and voila! Surprise, surprise, the figure stands on its own without the stand and the base. So, bonus marks for me. Okay, so this is how uh, it kind of looks like. Maybe I should move the camera back a little bit. What do you think? Okay, that's, I think for, for the body itself, there's a little bit of like reflective paint here to give on the scar a little bit more variation, which is pretty nice. Mm, the pose itself is pretty okay. Pretty interesting. <laughs> but its head looks a little bit too huge. For the body, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, I think they did the creases. I think the sculpt is actually okay. The creases of the clothing, uh, kind of nicely done. But for me, I think the paint itself seems to be a little bit off, or or rather, <clears throat> seems to be of lower workmanship. Um. I think if you look at the the shading and just the uh, the color itself, it looks really weird. Could be me, but even for you know the pants here, I think some parts are just completely white. It's not like a lighter shade of blue. It is white. It doesn't look like proper shading. Yeah, and even like you know the pants, like the edges here is not properly painted. So. <sighs> Really disappointed. Uh, you can't really look up his his, his shorts. It's like a stump it ends inside. Um, his sandals, slippers. The details are there. Feet. Sculpted the nails. A little bit of like wrinkles and stuff. Yeah, but it's just the, the pain, you know. I not a big fan. It looks a little bit dull and stuff. Alright, let's just take a look at uh, the second face and maybe it will make the figure look better. Alright, but first of all, we have to figure out how to change the face. I have no idea to because it comes in one piece. So let's just. Oh! There you go. The head comes out just like that. And then you can see the head itself. So, uh, I think. Uh, okay, the front part of the hair comes apart and basically just like that. Bye, red face! Hello, smiley face, smiley Luffy. Alright, pushing it in. It's a little bit snug. Uh, the hair goes in and, 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 and the straw hat goes on top. And we have Smiley Luffy. Hey, this actually looks much better, I think. <laughs> but it's also kind of creepy, I, I I guess. It's like his mouth is too wide. But they usually draw him like that uh, in the in the manga, isn't it? Uh, in the anime. <laughs> so there you go. You have that Smiley alternative of Luffy. Let me know what you guys think. Alright. And uh, last but not least, I'm going to do a 360. Uh, try to do a 360 as far as my hands can reach. Um, <clears throat> before I bring out the other figures, a little bit of height comparison. Yeah, I think overall, I think it is a pretty decent figure. It's pretty, pretty okay. Uh, especially for the size. Um... I think if you're a Luffy fan, you definitely won't be getting your hands on this. 
All right. Yeah. Let's take a look at the height of the, this Luffy. Oh, wow, it's actually quite tall. It's about 28 cm and 11 inches. So, yeah, I'm not sure what's the marketed height, but this is actually quite big. And of course, to the left, we have the P.O.P. Luffy, and to the right, we have the King of Artists Luffy. And this figure is definitely in a much bigger scale than uh, either one of them. Um, I would like to bring in the King of Artists, the other King of Artists Luffy to, to take a look. So give me the moment. Um, there we go. There you have it. Seems to me, body-wise, um, uh, this seems to be in the same scale, but this Luffy has a really huge head. Unnecessarily huge head for some reason. Um, it, could, it could be just the shape, you know, of the head itself. And of course, if you look at it, uh, you can tell the difference in details. And back then, really, King of Artists was, was really, really good. It really has some top quality figures. Um, yeah. There you go. So uh, that's all I have for this video. Any questions you would like to ask, um, could be about anything, just, just post them to me uh, in the comment section or even on my Instagram. So if you enjoyed the video, do like it. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, and also, if you're if you subscribed already, hit the notifications button so you don't miss out on any videos. Thank you guys for all your support and see you again.